Hi, I'm Dr. Richard Gray. I'm here with my colleagues, Dr. Nabil Wasif and Dr. Barbara Puchkai, and we're from the surgical oncology team here at the Mayo Clinic in Arizona. We're here to talk to you about some of the innovations in breast cancer care. Uh, Dr. Wasif, talk to us a little bit about the advantages of multidisciplinary approach to breast cancer treatment. Sure, I think that's a very important question, uh, Dr. Gray. Uh, breast cancer is not a simple disease, it's quite a complex disease and it requires input not just from one kind of doctor but several different physicians. We're talking about surgeons, we're talking about medical oncologists and radiation oncologists, which means that you want all these doctors talking to each other about the patient and that means the avenues for communication have to be open and you want it to happen in a setting where you get all of this information being shared very freely. As a patient, that's very important because it ensures that you get the best care from not just one of the doctors, but all of the doctors. And there's important innovations that continue to happen in breast cancer care. And expertise in each of these areas is important. One of the things that we've worked hard on is decreasing the rate of positive margins when lumpectomies are done for breast cancer. Most breast cancer patients can now be treated with a lumpectomy. And we now use a new device called a radioactive seed that allows us to be more precise in the lumpectomy so that all the cancer cells can be removed in one operation. Unfortunately, nationwide, many people have to have a second operation when they undergo a lumpectomy. 25 to 30 percent of patients often return to the operating room because the first lumpectomy did not have adequate removal of all the cancer cells. By using some of these new devices and new techniques, such as radioactive seed localization, we've been able to decrease those rates for patients. Here at Mayo Clinic Arizona, we've gotten the rates down below 10%. But just treatment of the cancer, um, while important, is not the whole picture. Dr. Puchkai, can you tell us a little bit about reconstructive surgery and quality of life factors in breast cancer treatment? Sure. We have a great plastic surgeons on our team and part of our uh, breast cancer surgical team. We offer a variety of different reconstructions that actually fit the patient. So we have the patient come and see us and for those patients who either need a mastectomy or choose a mastectomy, we have a variety of options available for them. And I think many of them are cutting edge and new techniques. We're also able to give very good reconstructive results due to the fact we've actually developed techniques to do nipple sparing mastectomy, which allows women to undergo mastectomy but keep their entire skin of their breast and also their nipple. Not only are we really concerned about breast reconstruction and having the patients feel that after surgery everything's going quite well, we're also quite concerned about their quality of life. We've done various studies so far here at the Mayo Clinic looking at quality of life of patients and what happens after they're treated with breast cancer. We find that this is an important component to their care here at the Mayo Clinic in Arizona. So if you're undergoing breast cancer care, it's important to find a good multidisciplinary team that can look at all of the important options available to you that will consider individual factors for your care have lots of reconstruction options, and make sure that they maintain the highest quality of life for you as a patient also. If you'd like more information about breast cancer care, please visit our Mayo Clinic website. Thank you.